You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, extreme smile makeovers. We're talking about the term is called full mouth reconstruction. According to my first guest, your teeth are never too far gone to have the smile that you've always wanted. With us, we have an expert on the topic, Dr. Jay Goel. Dr. Goel, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy, thank you for having me. Now, before we get into today's topic, and I know you brought a lot of photos, so we'll get to as many of those as possible, but what, give us a working definition. Like, what is full mouth reconstruction mean? I okay. guess this is dental talk. Yes, uh, <laughs> uh, full mouth reconstruction is a varied topic, Randy. I mean, I don't know where to start. Uh, okay. We can start anywhere from a single crown or a bridge to a complete smile makeover for somebody that just changes their lives completely. You know, it, it gives them a whole new lease on life and you know, tears well up and, and they're just so happy to, to see. It, it can include simple, you know, single implants or, or a full mouth of implants if, if need be. Okay, so. now your practice, and I know it's not a recognized specialty, but I think some of the terms that they use like super specials, I mean, you do a lot of things. Yes. So, so tell us the different things you do in your practice. Oh, we do everything. We, 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 from A to Z, we cover simple implants, uh, crowns, root canals, um, orthodontia, braces, um, Invisalign clear aligners, uh, to periodontal gum therapy, including lasers, uh, okay. um, Botox, you know, people, that's the latest, uh, latest and greatest. Um, periodontal surgery, gum lift, the pinhole, that's, that's okay. becoming very, very popular these days, called the lunchtime gum For gum lift. recession. For, gum, okay. for receding gums, yes, yes, absolutely. So you, you, now you have this, this new concept or, th that's going on in certain practices where everything's done in one place. Absolutely. Or yes. normally you might go to yes. a specialist for this or yes. a specialist for that. You do it all right there. We do it all under one roof, everything under one roof. And, 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 and the reason for, for that was because, you know, a lot of my patients would complain, you know, they would go from one office to the other. They're just shipping, you know, it's like farming it out. You know, they, they get tired. You know, these, these are working people. Because right nobody likes going to the dentist anyway. Nobody likes going to the dentist and they're taking off of work and they're going to one office, then they're going to another office. Then they're, I mean, it's, it's like, where does this end? Where, where, when do I actually live my life? You know, and they okay. get tired of that. And, uh, you know, I, I wanted to help, help my patients. And I said, you know, you got to give them a one-stop shop solution to to get the work that they need done in a timely manner so they can live their lives you know I mean teeth are one aspect of their life so you know we want to we want to help them live the life of their dreams now you're a dentist yes. so it does not surprise me to hear that you think that the, like the teeth are the most important thing how important is a smile in your opinion um, yes I guess you would say that as, as a dentist but but if you know for for a dentist yes a smile is important but for for a normal person for for average Joe average Jane it's 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 so important to, to be able to live the life the way you want to, to, to be able to date the person that you like, to be able to go on a, on a, on a date with them to, to a restaurant, to be able to eat anything you want from the menu and not be held behind. You know, you're at a party, you're, you're, you're hiding behind your, your smile because you're afraid to kind of put your best foot forward, you know? Uh, Are there you, a lot of people ashamed of their smile? I mean, you hear these stories, obviously. I, I hear these, oh, oh my God. I mean, you, you pro they, they probably won't tell you, but when they come in, they're like, you know, I, Doc, I, when you go to a party, you know, you see, the, see the, the guy or the girl across the room and they're smiling and they're, they're happy and they're-, they're The charisma. The charisma is just, it's amazing. You know, it's, it's, it's like, it's magnetic. Yeah. You know? And then you see this one person at the corner of the room, they're afraid to talk to someone. You know, uh, you feel like they're having a bad day or they're, they're, they're mad, they're upset, they're angry. But it's just because they're, they're, they're afraid to smile and, and, and it kind of just you know, covers everything else about their persona. They're, they're, Can you spot it as a dentist? Like you could tell who's hiding their smile? Uh, uh, now I can. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's, it's fairly easy now because you know that that's holding them back. It's just, it's just one small thing, but it makes such a big difference in their whole uh, in their whole career, in their whole uh, personal and, and professional lives. So you asked me how important the smile is. Um, in just about every survey that's done, you know, look at Gallup, look at look at uh, Elle magazine, look at Cosmopolitan. The smile is the first thing people notice, you know, in, in their in their potential mate, and uh, or it's in the top three. So yeah, when surveyed, that's right. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, it's it's important. If think, take take Hollywood for example, you know, if okay. you want to make somebody look poor, you know, what do you do? You know, you take away a couple of their teeth. You, that's you, a good point. You know, like you, in a movie, you want to make somebody look like a street person, and exactly. mess up their teeth. You, know, you darken up their teeth. You know? Okay. You, you make them buck. You give them buck teeth. You know, and 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 all of a sudden, you you know, you people start judging that person. They they think they're from a poor background or, or they're not as educated. You know, so it kind of sets. You know, people start judging you just based on your smile. You know, if you had a job interview, if you have two sisters coming in, okay, right, and 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 one is smiling and, and, and chatty, and she seems well adjusted, she's happy, she's outgoing, she's interacting with you, and the other sister is kind of bashful, she's she's very stoic, she's not smiling, you know. Um, 
who do you hire? You know, it's a very, well, very the one easy that looks app. Confident, exactly. Right? The one who's well adjusted, the one who's social. You know, we call it the social six. You know, you got a social smile. six. The social six. Because you're showing like six teeth. You're or showing more. six teeth. You know, it's like you want to step, put your best foot forward. So it's extremely important, not because I'm a dentist, but I think it's important because people want to be themselves. People want to show who they really are and not hide behind a facade because they're being held behind, you know. There's a, there's a good quote I, I recently heard. Um, it says, uh, everything that you ever want is on the other side of fear. You know, people okay. are afraid to go to the dentist, you know, but if you, if you just come in and just come in for regular dentistry and kind of get on the right path, you know, it just changes your life. Simple things. Let me tell you what I've witnessed in my own practice when we've changed somebody's smile. Um, these, uh, these people have, have, have just avoided going to the dentist for many, many years. You know, they're, they're kind of out of the cycle. They're out of the, they're out of the, uh, the network, I guess. And, and they're, they're just not coming in for their regular checkups and cleanings. And then they start to, start to avoid, uh, the kind of neglect comes in, you know. And, and when they come in and they get their workup done, and uh, at the end, when you finally see the transformation, it's it's so liberating for them. I mean, I saw I saw this one uh, one gentleman. He came in and and he had no back teeth. You know, he, he you know he he wouldn't go out to dinner with his wife. You know, his his grandkids. He would just avoid meeting people. You know, because uh, people would you know as as you get older, people you know people want to go to dinner. They go to they meet their grandkids, and people bring them food. Okay. You know? And and and. Uh, uh, they start hesitating because they're afraid. What are they going to eat? Let me tell you about this guy. You know, he's 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 a big guy. You know, he looks like a, he's looked like a Navy SEAL. Literally, okay. okay. Uh, a couple of teeth are gone. Some some veneers are gone. So he busted a tooth because because he likes to fight people and they, they do it for okay. fun. You know, he's okay. like one of those MMA artists. You know? Okay. Um, I fix. I gave him. I think I replaced one tooth, one implant, and I replaced one veneer. I mean, this guy just he transformed. Okay, he's he's happy as can be. You know, he's like a teddy bear. You know, he's flirting with my assistants. He's flirting with the front desk. He's just he's showing me all his photos of his MMA fights now. You know, he's he's it's unbelievable. Just because of his teeth. Just because of his teeth. Just because of his teeth. Can you believe that? I had this one lady who came in and, and she was a uh, uh, really nice person. Really, really nice person. Uh, uh, single mom. Okay, uh, working multiple jobs, really, really held back because of her smile. No back teeth, can't chew, doesn't like to go out with her uh, girlfriends anymore, and just does not living their life, you know. We, we, you know, she went to multiple dentists, and you know what they tell her? They tell her she doesn't have enough bone to get implants. I mean, that's their experience. According to their expertise, that's their limitation. She, she found us out, we, we, you know, with, with newer guided surgery, with, with uh, newer cone beam scans, we gave her the smile that she wanted. And now look at her. It's a completely different story. She carries herself differently. Her hair is done. She's always happy when she comes in. She brings us food all the time now. You know, she's so happy because she can eat the food. She can enjoy the meals at, at the restaurants with her friends. And she's just living the life that she wanted to live and not having to, not having to avoid going out with her friends, not having to avoid going out with her children and her grandkids and, and, and being held back because she, had, she, couldn't, she couldn't chew. You know, it's, it's unbelievable. It's so liberating to see that. So with your patients, because you do porcelain veneers, you do, you have a machine, I guess, that makes crowns while they wait right there. Absolutely. So right you're there. able to do like a veneer, uh, maybe if they're missing one tooth, you can get rid of, give them a dental implant. So it's right all away. right there. It's all right there. It's all right there. Do not have to go anywhere else. And you're big on sedation. Yes, we are. Who we gets have. sedation? Anybody who wants it. I had this one patient. Let me tell you about this story. Uh, 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 in fact, I have photographs as well I'd like to share with you. Okay. Uh, very, very scared. Let's take a look at the photo. You know, uh, very, very scared. Does, oh my goodness! Does not, does not want to, does not want to get anything done. And obviously, you see that, that because of the, because of the fear, you know, they do not want to come in. And then it just builds up and builds up in years of dentistry that has been postponed. Okay. And then they search us out, and they're like, okay, you know, I, they know that I need this because this is affecting my general health. So to you, is this like a full mouth reconstruction? This you got to kind of rebuild the whole. You got to rebuild. It's like a whole bevy of procedures that we're okay. going to be doing. You know, it's like, it's like, God, where do I start here? It's it's, it's so much work that needs to be done. So much work that needs to be cleaned up. But but once once it's done, it's a completely different person. Take a look at this. Nice. Wow. Com completely different person. Completely different person. It's it's amazing. It's amazing how happy she is. You know, she's. Um, she's happy to go out with her family now. She's going to a restaurant. She's meeting her girlfriends. Um, she got sedated. We have an anesthesiologist right in the office. Don't need to go anywhere else. They come in, they put you to sleep. You wake up and you have a beautiful new smile. No downtime. It's unbelievable. Take a look at this patient, Randy. I mean, very apprehensive, very scared of the dentist. Okay, yeah. Did not go for years and years. And then she comes in. 
Okay, and we sedate her. And this is one day? I this mean, are you able day. to do this, this in one day? This is all done in one day, in a few hours. Okay. You know, we sedate her, she wakes up and she has a smile back. And look at that smile, Randy. Look at that eyes, you know. She those looks eyes, happy. Those lies tell you that she's happy. You know, she, she can smile when she wants to. She looks youthful. You know, she's carrying herself so confidently. She can go out and meet the people and greet the people and, and go to dinner and, and just live her life. You know, it's unbelievable how liberating that is for her. Okay, and, and, and we can all get this done in one day in the office. And let me tell you what would have happened normally in dentistry, Randy. She would have had to go to a different office to get her teeth out. Like then an she, oral surgeon? Like an oral surgeon. Okay. Then she would have had to go to a periodontist. Then she would have had to go to a prosthodontist. You know, everybody, somebody's doing the implants, somebody's doing her crowns and bridges, and then she's coming back and seeing me. I mean, it's just the rigmarole, just the run around. But now, with our office, gets done in one visit. And not only okay. that, somebody else would have probably just put her in dentures. I can't believe how sad that would have been. You know, now she's not in dentures. She's, she's got a smile that's hers. It's fake, it doesn't need to come out. And it was all done in one day. So this is this full mouth reconstruction. Can you ever be too far gone? Like, have you ever met somebody that says, there's nothing we can do? Very rarely, Randy, that normally doesn't happen. With, with newer technology, with the newer cone beam scanning, with the newer guided surgery, I'm telling you, if the person can walk, okay, if they can hobble into our office, even if they come in in a wheelchair. We just took care of an 89-year-old lady. 89-year-old, um, she, beautiful lady, she was so happy, she was so, she's such a kind lady. And, and she came in and she wanted to have a smile back. A lot of people, a lot of the offices that she's going to, you know, they're dismissing her. They're not listening because to her. Because she's 89. Because she's 89. Because of her age, they're discounting her. They're like, okay, you're fine, just, just, just get a denture. I, when I saw her, I knew I could help her. Okay, we took the scans, we did the workup, and now she has a fake smile, okay? And for her 89th birthday, she got her smile back, you know? She came in all dressed up, and she looks gorgeous. I mean, it's, it's, it's so, <laughs> so, so they beautiful. change. I mean, you do like a smile makeover, we like a, a smile cosmetic makeover, dentistry like on a these cosmetic people, smile. and everything just changes. Everything just changes. I mean, they're just, they're just amazed. They all tell me, you know, Randy, they all tell me, I wish I'd done this 20 years ago. Why did I wait? But that's the challenge. We all put things off, right? We all put things we off. Wait, Life wait. happens. You know, life happens. Life happens and we get distracted. We're doing, we're looking after our kids. We're looking after our, our families and our, and our parents and, and, and we forget to take care of ourselves, you know. And when they come to me, you know, it's my job to take care of them and give them the smile that they've, you know, wanted but just were not able to focus on. Now, now this, okay, so there's a, when you're creating a beautiful smile, what percentage would you say it's 50% art, 50% science? Is it more art than science? It's a balancing what do you think? act. I mean, I think it's a combination of both. Dentistry is an art and a science. It's a perfect amalgamation of both, I would say, because there's so much technology that goes in, which is science. But then to create the smile, we can literally, with our newer technology, we can actually sit and design your smile the way you want it. If you want like your how? Teeth. What do you mean? You can actually take uh, uh, the... Uh, <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is so amazing to see this thing come to life because you take a, uh, we actually use a technology that they use in, in Disney, you know, they're using the same computers to design the smile if you want your teeth longer, smaller, wider, narrow. So you just show them on a computer you what they're going the computer, to look like? What they're going to look like even before we start. It's amazing whether you want veneers, you know, whether you've, you've been hiding behind a dark, you know, a lot of people, you know, earlier, I would say maybe 20 years ago, tetracycline was big. You know, a lot of people would get sick and the doctor would give you tetracycline. So you'd have, you'd see these people and they're, they're, you, they always look upset. They're not upset. Their teeth are very gray. They're they afraid. just can't smile. They just can't smile. They're afraid to smile because they're, 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 they're just they're shy of smiling. And then you, you tell them, hey, listen, one visit, veneers, and you're done. You got the smile that liberates you, that sets you free so you can get on with your life and, and, and go on those dating sites and, 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 and go to those restaurants and go to on those job interviews and just feel good about yourself, you know? And, and uh, with the newer technology, you can get the veneer if you feel like your teeth are broad, they're narrower, you know, they're taller, they're not as white. We can give you a custom-made smile in two visits. Interesting. Now, you mentioned earlier about teeth in the back. Like, if you're just missing two teeth in the back, you give them dental implants. But why if you're only missing a couple of teeth and they're in the back, why, why fill a, them in with the implants? It's, it's, Help it's, me understand it's that. a, That's a great question, Randy. Thank you for bringing that up. It's, it's so important because our teeth are like, it's, it's like a chain reaction that starts. You lose one tooth, right? Nobody's worried about that. It's in the back, it's not visible, I'm okay. That's what most people think. And that's what I hear all the time. It's like, oh, it's fine. 
It's one tooth I don't need to worry about. But then the other teeth start to shift. Our teeth are always shifting. And patients know that. A lot of patients, oh yeah, my teeth shift. So as you lose a tooth, what? You're yeah. not holding them in place as well? You're not holding them in place okay. as well. So one tooth shifts, then the top tooth starts to move down. Then you start getting food getting caught everywhere. You go out to dinner, you got spinach caught here, you got a carrot caught here. I mean, it's like you're creating a larder in your mouth to save food for later. No, that's not, <laughs> that's not yeah, right, yeah. you know? So, and then before long, you lose another tooth because you're kind of favoring one side because you can't eat on this side because you've lost a tooth on this side. Now all of a sudden you've lost another tooth on this side because you're putting too much pressure here. And then it starts to snowball. So ideally is what? You just want to replace that tooth right away. Okay. You just want to replace that tooth right away. It's kind of like it's kind of like a car. I get some of my patients like an analogy for a car. If you if you have four tires and you lose one tire, you're not gonna be like, hey, listen, I got three tires. I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> that car is gonna crash very soon. You know, uh, God gave us 32 teeth. It'll still, it'll, drive, yeah, but it'll still well. drive, but not very well. Drive, but not very well. You know, essentially yes. You know, so you want to try and replace that tooth right away. Now you could replace it in multiple different ways. You could get a get a partial denture. You could get a bridge. You could get an implant. And with our office, the beauty of it is we all do it in, under under one roof. You know, we have okay. the technology. Believe it or not, we have the technology to get it done in one day. You come in, and if you're missing a tooth, we can replace that tooth. Same day. So there is a movement going on across the country, you know, and we've had the show for 20 years and I interview a lot of medical doctors and dentists, but where there's a group of people that you can't save their teeth, full mouth of extractions, and then you put implants. But like you say, losing teeth can be expensive. That it oftentimes you could save teeth and do a combination of procedures. Elaborate on that. We actually pride ourselves on that. A lot of these patients, there's a, there's a big movement coming around that, that everybody's just pulling everybody's teeth and just giving them full sets, okay? Um, we feel like it's expensive to lose all your teeth right away, okay? okay. It's a, there's a sense of loss that goes with it. Can you imagine losing, right? can you imagine losing all your teeth? You know, yeah. all that's your teeth, that's, that's, that's a little scary to me. So I, I feel like I can help these patients. And my goal in, this, in, the, in our practice is if these patients come in and their teeth are salvageable, we will move heaven and earth to make sure that we can to save, save those, teeth. those teeth. It's important, they're your own teeth. Okay, they're worth keeping. So we try to do whatever we can in our part to try and help the patients affordably keep their own teeth. Now what if they have really bad gums? It's treatable. Can they still they do can things still do like yes, uh, veneers and implants and? My, my father, he's a dentist, okay. and he once told me, you know, every case is manageable. You gotta find out what needs to be done. If the gums are bad, we treat the gums first because they're the foundation of, of the, it, it, th think of a house in, 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 uh, you know, with stilts. You gotta build the foundation right. If the foundation's strong, then the, then the teeth are gonna be strong. So the gums and bone are the foundation. We make sure that the gums are healthy and clean, and then we will focus on the teeth. Can they get veneers? In many cases, you'd be surprised, Randy. We've had some beautiful results. So you can go from really horrible, they say, I have bad gums, I got this, to brand new teeth. Brand new teeth. Brand With new veneers, smile. maybe single tooth implant here and there. Here and there, yeah, whatever's needed. We kind of plan the case out. Maybe they can't keep some of their teeth. They don't need to lose all of them. Okay. So if we can save majority of their teeth and give them the smile that they want, it's still a win-win. You know, they still keep their own teeth. They have the smile with the veneers or the crowns or the implants, whatever is necessary. And it's, we can still work at getting them the fixed teeth that they're looking for, you know? Okay. So whatever the solution, every patient, it's like a custom solution made for all patients that are coming in, you know? And we are experts at designing it. We've got years of experience behind us and, and we can get it all done in our office without a lot of downtime. Okay, yeah. good, you have more photos. I do, what else I do. We, look we, have, at? We, have a, we have a ton of photographs here. So let's take a look at uh, Erica here. Uh, take a look at her. She's, uh, she's works in the legal profession. Oh boy. Uh, very, very nice young lady, um, very outgoing, um, amazing personality, but held back by her smile. This young lady here is a very, very attractive person. I mean, that, that picture does not do justice. Okay, yeah, okay. I don't think so, okay. right, it's not t so good. T take a look at this oh, one. Oh, wow. I mean, she's, she's, she's Julia Roberts, yeah. you know? <laughs> you know, and, and, and I mean, the, the result that we've gotten, she is so confident, you know? She's, she's uh, involved in meetings all day long, you know? She, she's at a very high position in her company. She's, she's meeting with the, um, the hoity-toity of society. You know, she's out networking with people all the time, and I can't tell you what a difference has, that has made in so her So how career. do people even find out about you? 
Uh, we, have, we try to connect with our patient in a variety of ways. We send them a, a flyer every month to kind of tell them about our office, the services we provide. Okay. Uh, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram. Uh, we have a dedicated team that's kind of uh, giving the patients information inside our offices about the services we provide. We have the most reviews of anyone in our area. We are the most high rated office on Google. How many? 650, I think. Is that right? That is correct. So people like you guys. People like us. So no matter how bad your smile is, no matter how bad you're You smiling, can take care of it. We can take and care of it. you call it full mouth reconstruction, or at full least that's what we're talking about today. Full mouth reconstruction. So what else do you have? What other photos? Take a look, this is, a, this is an amazing story. Um, I'm gonna tell you a story about two lovebirds, high school sweethearts. Okay, okay. this is uh, good already. <laughs> Joanne came to us. Okay. okay, let's take a look. Take a look at her. She's, she's got a wonderful, wonderful lady. Um, again, same thing, you can take a look at her smile. She's got a lot of uh, wear on her teeth. Okay, she's got some gaps there. Okay, that may or may not have bothered her, but now, you know, she's missing a lot of her back teeth. And she's just not able to eat what she wants. She, she, loves, she loves carrots and celery and, and cucumbers, by the way, okay. And, and she was just not able to function, no back teeth, okay. And then look at her, look at her smile afterwards. Nice. You know, you know she, can't, uh, she can't stop smiling anymore. I mean, she's just bubbly and chirpy, and, 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 and she can't thank us enough after this. She's, she was so happy with the service that, that, that we gave her, and she was so impressed that she referred her, her husband, her high school she, sweetheart, to us. Okay, she okay. drug him in. She drug him in. She, she did. And Is that common? A lot of wives have to, because men put everything off? I mean, do they have to bring their husbands in? Husbands are tough, you know? They're, they're tough guys. I mean, if you look at John, John is, John is a man's man. He's, he's, he's strong, he's this tough. This is his you know, new teeth right here? This is his new teeth right there. You know, he would not want to come in unless there was a problem. And he was missing his back teeth as well, but he wasn't concerned about it. You know, he's a guy, you know, he's, he's not, doesn't hurt. Don't So when it. you give him those back teeth back, let's say with implants, do they notice the chewing is, like, oh is my that God. what they notice the most? Neil Lee's on life. You can eat steak, you can eat carrots. You know, you can eat okay. salads, nuts, you know, people, I'm, I'm, I love nuts. I'm nuts okay. about nuts. I mean, okay. you gotta, you know, you gotta be able to enjoy the diet that you want. I mean, if they have grandkids and if the kids are coming in and they're like, grandpa, I got an apple for you here. Let's, let's have it together. And now he's not afraid to bite into that apple without worrying about his teeth falling out. Isn't that liberating? Now there are lovebirds, you know, they're, instead of worrying- Call lovebirds. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, they are lovebirds. And, and instead of worrying about their teeth and what they're gonna, you know, how they're gonna eat and where, where they're gonna eat and what they're gonna eat, you know, they're, they're, they're planning their next vacation, where they're gonna go, you know, how they're gonna get there. You know, it's, it's, there's, life has moved beyond worrying about their teeth now because their teeth are in great shape so they can live their lives like normal people. Let me show you, can I, can I show you all a couple right, more right, photographs? All right, we got time for a couple more. These are, these are our, uh, you know, I like to call them my models because take a look at, take a look at this photograph. All here. right. Amy, Amy's uh, uh, very, very high up in the retail industry. And okay. again, same thing. She's been wanting to show off her smile. She never smiled. If you look at all her photos. Is that what she told you? Exactly, we have pictures after pictures of her and she would never show her teeth. This is her after I finished her veneers. Nice. You know, she can't stop smiling now. She can't stop smiling. Every picture we take off her now, she's showing off her teeth. She can't stop showing off her teeth. Now they're probably doing selfies on Facebook? Absolutely. Instagram, they're all over the place. Irritating their friends with <laughs> all their irritating selfies? Irritating their friends and family with all their selfies. Absolutely. This is another one. Okay. Another one. Sarah, if you take a look at her, you know, she was concerned. She had a lot of, Sarah, this is an interesting case, a lot of enamel wear. You know, we, you know, what, what, I, what I've found is a lot of people are into uh, the, the, the soda beverages, you know, like the monster drinks and, and some of our carbonated beverages like Perrier and all of that stuff. Yeah. It's, it's, it's unbelievable that you would think that even though they're not as, uh, as uh, sugar heavy as we would think, but they still do a lot of, a lot like of erosion. Yes, okay. acidic to our enamel. And if, but, so when we look close at this before, Yes. That's, so those can't treat with whitening? Those can be treated with whitening. In fact, okay. they get very sensitive, so we treat them with veneers. And there's, the way we do veneers is, is really good because we're not grinding your teeth down. We just do a little bit of small adjusting your tooth here and there wherever it's necessary. This gentle buffing, and then you put the veneers on in one day and take a look at the result. Take a look, very take nice. Take a look at the result. You know, That's nice. isn't that a beautiful smile? I mean, look at the eyes, look at the smile, look at the, look at the lip line, look at the youthfulness of the smile. It is just unbelievable how great she looks. You know, and that's given her, you know, she knows that she looks good and she just steps out like a model. I mean, it's wonderful. It's wonderful to see them so confident. Well, I got one more, just the last one. Take a look at Brian. 
Okay, what's going on here? Full mount reconstruction this here. He's uh, same thing. He's got he's got a lot of lot of dentistry there. That's years of dentistry, and then he just got tired. You know, did not want to go back again. And then finally, he was lucky. You know, he found us. So this is a full mouth reconstruction. This is a full mouth reconstruction okay. case. You know, nice. he's, not, he's not worried about what he's what he's eating anymore, what he can and cannot chew. You know, he's not looking at a menu and thinking, oh my God, what am I not going to be able to order? A lot of these people, Randy, they're the, you know, they their partners have good teeth, but they don't. I mean, they're sore, they're hurting. They can't go out with their partners on a dinner date and eat what they want. They're limited. Okay. So once we once once we're done, bring them bring their teeth back to life here. You know, they can, you know, keep, you know, it all, it's, they, they turn expensive because now they can eat what they want. You know, they can smile, they can go out, they can meet friends. You know, they start so spending. So it's expensive out. because they have to, they're eating out more. <laughs> they're eating out more. You know, they're buying, they're meeting people, they're going shopping because they feel like they're a different person. Okay, you know? good. So this new thing, so what, so we're calling it full mouth reconstruction. Yes, we are. But the public doesn't know. I mean, how do you find a general dentist that has been trained in all of these, in the surgical, in, as you guys say, the restorative. I mean, you make you have a, a lab right there on site. Um, what do you ask? Do you say? Do you do everything right there? Yes, we do. I mean, we're. we're I mean, we're, what do you think a patient should ask? What should they look for? I think in a patient, dentist that's going to do a full mouth reconstruction. I think the patient needs to do their research and make sure that it's a it's a it's a reputable dentist that that has a lot of reviews like we do. You know, they want to look and and find out that they want to ask the right questions. Are you able to provide these services under one roof? You know, are you able to uh, give me some samples like photographs that we, we've done of work in the past that, that happy patients that have had the result that they're looking to get? You know, uh, do you have the lab on premises? Do you have the technology? Can you show me a result of what I'll look like before you even start? And we are able to provide all of that. Do you okay. have the specialists in the office? Yes, we do. We like to think that we're the best in the business in the greater Philadelphia area. Good for you. Good, Thank good. You. Uh, so final message, somebody watching this, they don't like their smile, right? But for whatever reason, and maybe they've heard what you had to say today, but they're, they're hesitant. They're putting it off. What do you say? I would say to them that if there's something about yourself that's, that's bothering you, that's holding you back in life, uh, you can change it. If you don't like your nose, you know, you get your nose corrected. If you don't like your weight, you start working out, you start eating right, you know. Same thing with your smile. The smile does not have to hold you back anymore. Okay. Okay. You can correct your smile quickly, safely. If you want to be sedated painlessly, and it can all be done in one day, if you like, at Media Dental Associates. All right. And uh, our number is right there on the screen. Give us a call. We'd be happy. We can. We're giving away free consults. Okay. And we'd be. We'd love to have you come on and and check us out and, and ask and, for Dr. J. And ask for Dr. J. Absolutely. All right, Dr. J. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Great stuff. Thank you for having and me. And these Randy. pictures are on your website and things they like are. that. A lot yes. of stuff on your website. A lot of stuff on the website. There's a lot of information that the patients can glean from the websites. But like I said, we're giving away free complimentary consults. We're giving away complimentary uh, cone beam scans just so the patients can can get a completely educated answer about what. Okay it is that they require so we urge them give us a call they will not they will not regret it all right be dr happy. j thank you so much thank you you've been watching the wellness hour news that makes you healthier i'm randy alvarez for now i wish you good health thanks for watching the wellness hour the leader in medical news with your host randy alvarez the authority on health issues